Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here. Very sunny, sunny day, as you can tell. Uh, and today we're outside Johnson's Real Ice Cream here in Columbus, Ohio, here to do their Johnson's Ice Cream Challenge. So essentially, we are gonna have six minutes and 40 seconds to eat this ice cream challenge in order to get it for free. If not, we're facing $20, yes, that's correct. Um, but basically, it's gonna be eight scoops of ice cream, eight toppings, you gotta pick both, and then there's three bananas, a whole bunch of then nuts, cherries, and whipped cream on top. So yeah, short one, but it should be good. Short but sweet, so they say, short but sweet. So let's head on and see what we can do, have some fun, and uh, that's about it, so wish me luck. All right, everyone, so here we are with the challenge, so the Johnson's Ice Cream Challenge at Johnson's Real Ice Cream. Um, so it looks really good. A couple of flavors I went with was like uh, salted caramel, uh, birthday cake, one of my favorites. Um, I had a couple others as well. One was like a coconut almond. Um, we also have three bananas, whipped cream, uh, eight toppings, and one with a couple sauces like caramel, marshmallow. We also have nuts, and that's about that. So just a lot of stuff. Oreos, Buckeyes. That's a very, very Ohio thing. Four pounds. Um, total. Four pounds total. There you go. So six minutes though, and 40 seconds or less to get it for free. And if not, it's 20 bucks. So uh, with that, how about we get started? All right. Three, two, one. Let's go. Thanks, man. Mm. Napkins might be a good idea too. That is coconutty. Thank you. Hey everyone, welcome to this video, where today we're here at Johnson's Real Ice Cream eating real ice cream. I tell you it was real, I can attest. Um, so here we're doing their challenge. Uh, so basically for their challenge, you have to beat the uh, house record or the time record in order to get it for free. Um, I don't know if they reset it every so often because I do know that people have done it faster in the past, but the time to beat was 6 minutes and 40 seconds. So if we beat that, we were going to get the meal for free. If not, we're paying $20. So. Uh, you got to pick your flavors for this, you got to pick all the toppings, but I will say the quality of this ice cream is very, very high. It was made in house and you could tell it had a very high fat content and just quality the way it did not melt. Like it was very hot out and this was staying solid. Try to get a little bit of liquid out. Alright, two minutes. Two minutes, thank you. Some of the flavors I went with included like Almond Joy, there was like a toffee, a birthday cake, so I definitely chose some difficult flavors but tasty ones. And uh, one of the toppings I had were Buckeyes. If you're not familiar with Buckeyes are, they're very much a Ohio thing, but they're basically like a peanut butter ball. So you know, peanut butter covered in chocolate, very delicious of course, um, but I didn't go with my toppings for ease, I went with uh, flavor preference. With this ice cream being again like such a high quality, it actually was very difficult to eat quickly, because um, like I said, it very, very much held its consistency held its texture but it was very delicious cold but overall i think that's pretty much about that um, i'll let you get to the rest of the video definitely brain freeze was real but hopefully we can complete the challenge in the six minute and 40 seconds so let's tune in and see what happens Thank you. Thank you. Wow. 
All right, so 326 official time. Um, a lot of ice cream, very, very good though. You can tell it's real ice cream, just the way it really uh, holds that coldness. You can tell there's some really good fat, good sugar, good flavor in there. Lots of, it was really cool to have the Buckeyes in there, like I said, very Ohio thing. Really enjoyed the flavors. The uh, coconut almond one was definitely standing out, very fantastic. But yeah, overall very delicious, so got to enjoy some real ice cream that we do get the meal for free. And uh, I think we get a picture up on the Wall of Fame, so that's pretty cool. But uh, at that, huge thanks to everybody here at Johnson's, really cool spot. A little sticky, but a uh, beautiful day out. Definitely a nice day to eat ice cream. So that's the next time everybody stay happy with hungry, happy eating, and uh, that's about it. So. Have a lovely day. All right, everyone, we are officially in Canton at the McKinley Memorial, like for President McKinley. Look at this. This thing is absolutely giant, like the monstrous, like just the steps and everything. I guess um, the President is at, with his wife and maybe a daughter or kid or two are actually apparently buried up in here. Well, let's check it out. This is absolutely giant. I didn't know uh, President McKinley was from Canton, but sure enough he was. And uh, yeah, this is like, this is impressive. So let's see what this is all about. And here we are at the top. Definitely again, like just the size of this in comparison to me, to this big thing. And then check this out. Here's like the uh, stairs. Here's looking down Again, we're at the bottom. It's very, very impressive and ultimately, Apparently this memorial, I don't know if you can read that, but it was erected by the voluntary contributions of more than one million of the men and women and children of the United States of America and other foreign lands. Oops, sorry, right there. Yeah, so uh, crazy. And I guess this is the McKinley like Museum kind of thing. But uh, yeah, it's uh, this is crazy. This is cool. And here we are inside. Obviously, you know we are in a memorial featuring their grave, so ultimately to be respectful. Um, but there you go. There's kind of a little bit about him. So born 1843, passed away in 1901. Um, but yeah, just like, this is super impressive. Um, and it's, it's, mo it's giant. There's some stained glass, uh, like, just to fathom, try to fathom how big and tall this is. It's absolutely impressive. And it says, let us ever remember that over interest is in concord, not conflict. And that over real eminence rests in the victories of peace, not those of war. Yeah, this is, uh, this is very, very impressive. Here are some highlights of the monument. Um, public fund was raised between 1901 and 1903, and they raised $550,000, which back 100 years ago would be a monstrous amount, I'm sure. Um, and it looks like to 1905, they started containing data on McKinley's life. 1907, the monument dedication with President Theodore Roosevelt as speaker. Um, there's two million bricks. Uh, let's see what else is interesting. Um, stained glass, 45 stars representing the 45 states in the Union of 1901. Uh, yeah, it was uh, originally owned by the McKinley National Memorial Association until 1943. It's now owned by the Ohio State and administered by the Ohio Historical Society. Now the property is responsibility of the Stark County Historical Society of Canton. Um, yeah, and the original Longwater Basin was five levels. Yeah, this is impressive. Uh, the mausoleum itself is 97 feet tall. Yeah, this is this is uh, this is impressive to say the least. So, yeah, definitely when you're in Canton, a must see. And here's for uh, Catherine and Ida. Uh, I guess they were both daughters as well. Um, and unfortunately, it looks like that pre the, their father, President McKinley, actually, I think, outlived them both. 
Looks like died about f uh, four months of age and died about three years of age. All right, then another thing you can do here is you can apparently slide down the, the ledge as the side. So let's try to do this and not kill myself. So let's get going. Ah, we are going. Okay. Woohoo! It almost fell, but we did. We did make it. Get a. Oh my gosh, I might have wrecked my shorts. But nonetheless, it was pretty fun. So there you go. Here we have an NFL draft uh, kind of monument. Because big, big Canton, Canton's known for the football hall of fame. Here we got some motions and monumental dates about football. It's pretty cool. Over here we have these masks, which is really cool. These are like th big 3D masks. They call it Rise, City, Silent Sing, Canton Art Districts. So those are really unique. And again, they're like 3D things. Over here we have an octopus. So it's an octopus on the mural on the wall and then it's transitioned and continued up as like physical tentacles. So that's pretty cool. So whoever made that, that was smart. And over here we have some, I don't know what those are, metal tong looking things, but yeah, our Canton Art District. This is, this is real nice. This is, I guess, right downtown. And here we have a rhino, which is made out of tires, which is also very unique. Pretty cool. I gotta give him a shout out, whoever not only thought, but made that. That would be pretty hard to construct. You know, tires are hard to manipulate, so. That's yeah, cool. And here's the octopus a little more up front. You can see like the actual mural with it. Again, that's pretty dang cool. Shout out to whoever uh, decided to construct that. Dang nabbit cat. You're gonna be down the menu next week if you don't shut up. So there about it. Thanks so much for watching the video. Hope you enjoy. Click my face right here to subscribe. And also, I picked two videos. That's right, two videos just for you that you might like. Right here. So like I said, guys, hit that subscribe. Hit one of these videos. Do it right now. Until next time, have a lovely day.